Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. I was putting off starting the stream a little bit because I was sitting there in the ladder queue trying to get things taken care of and I finally got in the game so here I am. Also, I just realized that my minimap is turned off so I should probably turn that on question mark. There we go. I have a minimap. So now you can actually see what's going on. This map is Esgaroth's Ruins and I think I've played on this one time in the past and I am not terribly familiar so let's just kind of go engineer at the start and see what happens. I've got some reclaim over here, got some 40s, some 60s, couple of buildings up on the top guarded by a T1 point defense and lots of rocks around the front edge. So I think that we are pretty dang well off going for the Hydro with the first Engineer or two. And then let's try to get uh, maybe one extra power generator down and an air factory. And then we'll just kind of tap a tap tap a couple of these down before moving on with our lives. And then after the third Engineer, I'm going to want to get a tank out because we are going to want to... Uh, front a little and protect our engineer investments and then I can probably move up here Grab some of this reclaim on the front end Hello there peoples Yes, it is subcom. I don't believe that I can do a barrel roll in subcom just saying You know what I said about um Yeah about tanks that didn't happen Okay, so we are going to go like so. And I just realized also that I do not have any additional engineers building factories. So I should probably do that thing. We will be getting some more, um, some more mass in. And I should just kind of queue off like so. Some more mass from these little guys. And hopefully we get enough power from there to make everything run correctly. I think that will do just fine. So I'm going to run right on down this away with a tank and try to snag the engineer that will inevitably come up to the front to try and get the reclaim on that side. We'll assist him there. <laughs> Rowey indeed. Appreciate the bits, man. Best way to start this roller coaster. Uh, I also need a tank out to the other side to do a little raiding work, hopefully. And then we'll get off to a good start on our unit production. Although, my tank appears to be snagged. Why is your pathfinding so terrible? Subcom, that is infuriating. We'll assist him there, and then next engineer out will assist on the factory production. That looks pretty dang good. Hopefully we get yes, enough power. So I mean... <laughs> oh, Rowie. Yes, I am definitely screwed. I forgot I was in 720p, my bad. I will try... After this game, I will restart the stream and uh, bring things back on track. Totally forgot to reset to 1080p today. For shame, for shame. Oh no. I just realized I'm versus Aeon. Crap. Well, at least we're going to get the better part of the stuff here. I'm going to go bomber on repeat strictly because Auroras. Auroras are oh so nice to kill with bombers. To get the rest of the mass out of the center and then we are going to retreat okay i'm gonna move around this side what is that going down t1 radar system oh you might be a little late on that good sir i also need to take you and we're gonna go down here and reclaim if my mouse will cooperate and We'll get a couple more engineers out into the field. Should be good. He's actually doing a decent job of watching out for what's going on with scouts around the outside edges. Not that that's going to help him because I am going to pick up his engineer right here. He does appear to have possibly a couple of labs, maybe tanks. 
Those are all land scouts. Interesting choice there, Sonny. Interesting choice. Let's go try to get this pinged across here and then see what we can do with a bomber. Uh, we are going to want more power generators as time goes on. And then you need to hit the outside edge. Now, my engineer is still alive there, which is good. I'm going to hit this up. Get rid of some of his engineers in the rears. Commander under attack. And then you are going to go that way. Now, he does have a T1 mobile anti-air, but remember... Oh, that would have been so good to get all three of those engineers if I had had that targeted slightly differently. That would have been so much better. Let me turn on a couple more of these... We are going to stall ourselves the hell out, but that is okay. Need to take the rest of those and just exert a little control, best we can, on the map. Get to reclaim over there. You are going to go suck those up and then go this way. And you fine fellows, once you get done with that, are going to go reclaim trees in the back. And that should be about all we need far as that goes. Alright, so I need to be careful of my ACU locales. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a mass donation. I'm just gonna get the hell out. Let's see. Two inties to the rear. You are going to come get those. And then I probably need a radar relatively soon. I will be able to get that, but he does have radar on the surrounding area, so I don't need to be super confident in it. <coughs> Excuse me. You ever inhale and something goes horribly, horribly wrong when you inhale? And then it's like you're choking to death on your own body, just rebelling against you. Yeah, that's not fun. Why did you not... Freaking A, dude. Oh, that is a lot of auroras. Hello there. Commander Let's see. Under I'm going to try to walk in on these guys. I think I have enough tanks to watch my back. I just need to do a little elimination, then play Ring Around the Rosie here. And then we are looking pretty dang good on that. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick up a radar on this side. Which will help me pick up targets for my bomber, which is going to go right around here. Oh, hello there. You actually have a decent amount of air. That's interesting. I'm going to cut them off at the pass and try to get a few more tanks involved on this side. We are producing relatively well at the T1 stage. I think I'm going to go for a T2 next. Because I need to get a little extra power and a little extra mass online and try to go for T2 land if I'm going to survive this. Now the good thing about it is he's actually kind of mismanaging his units right now. And I'm going to be able to get in and get a bunch of free kills on these tanks. Auroras are rather fragile after all. I just need to stay in range as much as possible and do all the damage I can. And then I'll also get this reclaim, which will do very nicely indeed. I might be overextending just a hair. Are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> Appreciate the bits, Roy. <laughs> I am sure that I want to overextend at this particular point in time because he doesn't have the land forces to stop me. And he's gonna have to pull his ACU back, I would imagine. So we are just going to move in on there. He's throwing out the GG. I don't think it is by any means GG. But if he wishes to throw it out, I shall not stop him. This is risky as hell ACU placement. Although he's got quite a substantial amount of units. I am going to back off slightly, I think. Nope, I do need to move in. Okay, we need to close in while we can. I just gotta stay in range of the stupid units, because once he starts kiting out my ACU successfully, then we're in a whole world of hurt. Alright, so move across here. He is on six land factories. 
I am also on six, but I had my ACU engaged the whole time. We need to move you over there, you over there. That gives us land control hard. Hard land control. I'm gonna back up into my engineers here. Intelligence seems to be lacking. I mean, that's kind of my problem overall, right? <laughs> Rowie with the bits again! <laughs> Apparently taking notes on some of the sounds that are now available. Uh, let's go gun upgrade. Safest thing to do versus Aurorus. We're at mostly full HP, so that's fine. You need to fly back that way. And let's go take a scout real quick. See, <clears throat> see what the numbers are over there. And then you, my friend, are going to move to this side. Where I also oh so desperately need a radar. Once my power comes back online. So, this is actually going to be a problem here. Let me uh, consolidate all of my forces over on this edge. Because if I do not, we are going to lose straight up. And I really, really need this commander done. We're going to pause our air factory. Okay, he does have a bomber in. So, let's get that over here. You need to go there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 60%, 60%. He's moving back. If he would have closed in on my ACU right there, he might have been able to kill me. He killed one of my engineers that's assisting, so let's pop the other one down. I know that I don't actually have the power to be assisting that that hard, but anything that I can suck away from my factories is a good thing. Bomber taking out four T1 units is also awesome. And then I should be able to push on the back side. We're going to assist here, then get a radar, then go around this edge. Once I get the gun upgrade on the ACU, we won't have to worry about the Aurora's outranging us anymore. <laughs> and again, Roey, thank you. Uh, and then, surprise, gun commander to the rear. I mean, that's what we want, right? That's what we want. Tier two. We're gonna go two engineers to the rear. And there is my radar coverage. And that needs to be a whole lot of reclaim right there. Tactics, are you? I'm just hoping that he doesn't have um that he doesn't have a whole bunch of T1 PD. And again, Rui, appreciate that. <laughs> For those of you who are wondering, um, the bits notifications have been changed to incorporate some of the choicer faff taunts for 100 through 107. Under so that's where all of that is coming from. I am not able to actually get this thing killed. Let's see, you need to come over there, you need to come over there. I may have to save my ACU. Yeah, yeah. Give it a rest Commander under attack. Dang, son, move! Hey, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. I'm listening, Mister. I'm listening. <laughs> All right, so he's retreating again. Let's move this way. He's got to stay in firing range and try to keep pounding away at it. Let's go ahead and move across this battlefield for reclaim. Get you two on the path to T2. And we're doing surprisingly well, actually, on power, which is super weird. Like, I know I stalled very, very hard there for a minute, but... There is no hope for you. I'm not past hope. Leave me alone. Commander under attack. <laughs> uh, thank you for the bits, though. Like I said, I can I can see some extremely good com comedic relief segments happening in this. Oh, he got the range upgrade. He didn't get any of the power upgrades, just the range. 
So I should be able to leave him behind, head to the north, get the hell out of here, hit his base while he's preoccupied. And you do not need to be on a patrol order, that's for sure. How did I end up... How is that not firing at me? Does the PD not fire? What the actual crap? I thought this entire time that that was going to be some kind of huge pain in the buttocks to get. But you can just straight up reclaim the entire thing. Okay. Well, that's news to me. Alright. Uh, hydro, then air factory. We've got our T2 online, so we need to get a T2 power generator down in the rear. And then we're going to take four of you, stop T2 and Ilshi production. Get another T2 mass extractor there. And then you are going to go infinite repeat on Ilshi's. Hey, listen, Luke, listen. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Roy, appreciate that. Um, I cannot, unfortunately, uh, bump the bump the volume anymore unless I re-upload the sounds. I can try. We'll see what happens. Alright, so till we get this up, we are going to be on short supply for power. I think that once we get Ilshis on the field, the Auroras won't be nearly as much of an issue. And we'll be able to recuperate just fine. Also, how have I not killed this guy already? This is probably not the best resource management, although he has been producing a hell of a lot of units. So it's probably not entirely my fault. And it is also warm-up time. Oh <sighs> Yeah, Brackman is relatively soft-spoken. So that is kind of a problem. Getting audibility. Okay, so we've got all the reclaim we could ask for. Need to get rid of that. Just gonna go over there. Once we get you in, we're gonna get a couple of power generator or power storages, sorry. So that we are fine on that. And then there's our Il Shiva production starting. Now, with the amount of reclaim that I had. And the benefits of the Ilshis coming out, potentially get us, getting us even more reclaim, we might be able to T2 the rest of these factories even, but it's going to be a might sketch. Okay, so actual mass income is 49 with 300 surplus in power. That is 9 per factory at T2. So that is something to consider. All right, he's got his other gun upgrade. I'm gonna push on the other side. Oh, plasma, that's depressing. And now I need to get out of this pocket because if I get trapped back here, that's a problem. And then I need to start kiting in with Ilshi's ASAP. We're going to go all the way to the back and around this corner. You, my friend, are going to build a radar right down here because I have a sneaking suspicion that just about all his units are on this side in an all-in gambit on killing my commander. Where are the rest? I need you to go that way. I need you to come in and fight. Let's go ahead and stop production on these two factories, which will bump my Il Shiva production more. And he is splitting his forces now, so that's good. Does he have... He probably has power storage. He definitely has at least one T2 mass extractor. But I do need to keep that in mind. There's the ACU taking a bite out of things. But I am definitely more than capable of taking a few bites myself. I just don't want to give him an opportunity to draw. That's the main, the main thing here. Uh, which is going to be rather difficult if he manages to catch me here, but 
I think that I can keep out of his range well enough. And I do have the Ilshivas in. Yes! Five Ilshis on the front line, and we got Overcharge. Boom, son! Here comes the boom! Here comes the boom! Alright. He obviously either doesn't have Overcharge or doesn't have the power to run his Overcharge. So we're just going to help ourselves into the base, and that is going to be that. T2 Shift worked brilliantly. And that has also given me an additional vet on my ACU, which is getting my HP up rather nicely. So I can be extremely appreciative of that. Come on, just get, get in range. Get in range. You know you want to die. He has got quite a few vet himself, actually. Bring you guys over here. Start both of these on Ilshiva production. Going this way. Then I need... Uh, we're almost out of Mexis to T2, aren't we? Hello there. I would love to get all up in your business. Can I hit that? I can definitely hit that. Alright, so there's one down. Bring in the rest. Try to get a little clump of four there. That's at least three, four, five. Okay, so that's cool. Come on, little little she's. You got this. Let's drop another P gen. And then a couple more factories. And then I desperately need a radar up on the front line so I can actually see what the hell's going on. Alright, that's another four with the overcharge. And he's got overcharge as well now, but he's wasting his overcharges on the actual commander instead of hitting anything that's useful. So that is good for me. Move, 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 move. Oh, look at that. You actually got more production online. You son of a gun. Let's unpause. We'll do bomber, bomber. Get rid of the build power here. Tinky, tinky, tink. Uh, kill, 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 kill. Okay, good. And there's the second shout out for GG. I think this one is a lot more thorough than the last time around. Yep, there it is. And this just goes to show you the difficulty of actually killing Aeon on a five kilometer map because holy hell, the Auroras are strong. Uh, equal amount of land spam, and if not for the ACU engagement that I had on the front line, he would have owned me in every single land engagement, hands down. No problem. That was the biggest issue that I had. Once I got T2 up and the gun commander, easy peasy, no problem. But those freaking Auroras, man, they are a pain. That is going to wrap everything up for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a like and share it with someone. If you want to support the channel, catch the streams, or join the Discord, check out the links in the description. Thank you all for being at least partially insane, and I will see you in the next one.